Hey everybody, it's Angel from Angel Fit and Healthy here and I am coming to you with a very interesting topic that I have been just pondering on and I want to really bring my opinion to you guys and it's on this enormous topic that is going on right now that everybody around you is talking about. Everybody's feeling like they're gonna die based off of what they eat and it's this documentary that is circling called What the Health. And if you have not heard of this documentary, then I definitely think, number one, you live under a rock, and number two, you're totally oblivious. Come down to earth. There is chaos, there is madness happening here. People think they're gonna die now, and whoever is a vegan before feels that they're superior, and, and whoever is a meat eater is like questioning their life, and it's just, it's chaos, it's madness. So I want to bring my perspective and my point of view to the table. My point of view is very unique. So I am a one year vegan diet and a year before that I pescatarian diet. So before this whole uproar on what we eat or the meat that we're eating has started to take center stage i did make that decision however i don't totally have my household cut off of meat that is out there and i really truly believe that it is an individual decision whether or not uh, you want to eat meat or whether or not you want to just be vegan. I really truly believe that this video has shed some light but I also believe that there's a, a bit of manipulation and there's a bit of uh, one-sidedness to this and this is coming from somebody that totally does not want to indulge in meat and I totally agree that you can get your proteins and you can be nourished properly from earth you don't need to get that from animals or animal byproducts at the same time i just don't feel that this video is a way for people to now just make this lifestyle change i really believe that it should be an individually researched and understood opinion and decision before anybody decides that they want to become vegetarian or vegan Number one, it is, it's a transition and we are surrounded by a lot of animal byproducts, um, products out there. So it is gonna, it, it is something that you have to understand and it is something that you really have to know what you're doing and have great information around you to be successful and to nourish yourself properly. But about this video, it was really informative. I enjoyed it. There was a lot of things that opened my eyes just to see how uh, a vegan diet or a plant-based diet can really heal and, and aid people in healing processes. And I, I do stand by that. There's a lot of um, illnesses in people's bodies that if they just kind of take away things and start to use more healing uh, foods that they can see a huge transition in their health. Again, if you choose to eat meat, like anything that we do, there's moderation, there's the healthier choices, and there's understanding where things come from because just, just the same that meat can come from somewhere or be uh, contaminated with things, so can the fruits and vegetables that we get. Whether or not you choose to see the consumption of animals as cruelty or or not, the, the main thing is are you digesting the healthiest thing for your body? And that's kind of where my mindset is. Is eating an animal going to make my life any better? And if I can spare the life of that animal, is there anything else that is going to nourish my body and keep me as healthy as possible? So that's kind of where my research started to come into play. As well as whenever I'm feeling like I'm not sure what's right, I do I do go to my Bible. I go to the Word of God, and I just I'm curious to see um, what that foundation looks like. So I just want to read something to you, just you know, 
Um, and this is kind of where my, my decision to become a vegan came from. So in the book of Genesis from chapter one, where this is where God is establishing things and he is creating everything and he's setting down the ground rules and, and just giving out instructions on how things should go. So in Genesis chapter one from verse 28, I will read that to you now. And this is kind of where I base my decision off of because it was just pretty plain to me what was being said. So it goes like this. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals and birds in the sky and the small animals that scurry along the ground everything that has life and that is what happened then god looked over all that he had made and said he and said it was very good We all need to take responsibility for the things that we put into our bodies, whether that be your liking for meat or your dislike for meat, whether that be that you feel that it's animal cruelty and that's why you're not doing it, or whether it be you need to heal your body. There's just so many different angles that we can look at our choices. But the main thing is being on top of the information that's out there, not being closed-minded to agendas behind the things that we indulge in because I truly believe that there's always an agenda behind uh, anything that's out there um, anything that's causing controversy there's something else to it and it, it, it all it takes is each and every one of us to be uh, responsible for our own health be responsible for the things the choices that we make in life and then from there it's making those healthy decisions Decisions, being responsible and knowledgeable on the information that is being fed to us as well as the food that is being fed to us because we all deserve to live a life that is fulfilled in the best way we can all debate we can all have our choices we can all make our decisions based off of the information that we retain based off the way that we were growing up based off of what we're used to and what works for, what has been working for us at the same time uh let's not be naive to what it was supposed to be um, and yes we have adapted to what it is now but there was always a beginning and there was always a way that things were supposed to go so my perspective again on what the health is this make healthy decisions if you if you're finding that you are living a life where you are constantly ill uh, you're having a hard time with weight not living the best quality life possible then it is time for you to look at alternative ways of eating and living <clears throat> at this and and with that being said if you are somebody that wants to live a long-term life and you want to see your children's children's children like they said in the in the video if quality of life is important to you and you want to get the best out of life then it is important for you to now start making decisions and being knowledgeable about the things that you are eating and consuming and if that is meat then that's finding the best quality meat not just anything not processed food processed foods uh, if you were able to look inside of your body after eating processed food and things that are, are just gone through a lot of chemical processes you'll see that under your body is all sore from trying to digest it you'll see a lot of pus you'll see a lot of inflammation just by the uh, there's an abuse that's going on inside your body that's trying to maneuver and and utilize and get rid of all of these things that we're consuming so just being knowledgeable caring about what goes on the inside not just about looking good on the outside but really caring about what's going on on the inside 
And if you find that it makes sense for you to go green, then do that. And if you feel adamant about that not being something that you should do, then find the healthier choices and live a quality life. But do not be naive to the fact that there is always an agenda behind everything. And just get that information and start to live the life that you are purposed to live. And that is my take on what the health. <laughs> uh, interesting topic. And uh, I love it because we can go so many ways with this. And there is, there's one truth um, and it's just how we maneuver our own minds and how we've lived our lives to come to that one truth about how we eat, what we eat, and what's important. So until next time, I hope that you like this video. If you have not already, please like, subscribe, and share this channel. And again, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And let's just keep this conversation. Until next time, Fit Family. Thanks. Thank you for watching, Fit Family. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share for more upcoming episodes on Angel Fit and Healthy.